Hi everyone, I'm Lily. I'm eight. Today I'm going to read a story. The title of this story is The Mouse's Christmas. It was Christmas time. The snow had already started to fall. The mouse children were excited. They watched the farmer cut down the big tree and carry it up to the house. It was soon be decorated. Can we have our own Christmas tree? asked the children. Mother shook her head. Mice don't have Christmas tree, she said. We're too small. Outside it was getting colder. More snow was falling in children and the children were feeling gloomy. Have a Christmas tree? They beg again and again. And now, Mother said, I'll do my best. Mother slipped outside into the snow. She looked everywhere for a Christmas tree that was small enough. She examined a twig, a fallen branch, and a big leaf frozen in ice. None of them really look like a Christmas tree. And now she shows a branch that has three red berries on it and carry it home for her children. Our very own Christmas tree, she said proudly. But it didn't look like a real Christmas tree. There was nothing Christmassy about it. The children were still feeling gloomy. That night, the farmer took his Christmas tree and it was so big he had to get a pee dog to get to the door. A while, a little while later, a fox came by. This is just what I needed for my dad. He said, the fox picked up the piece of Christmas tree and carried it home. But when he got home, he found out that he didn't need the whole piece. With a snap, he bit off what he needed and left the rest in his mouth. Soon after, a rabbit came back. When she saw the piece of Christmas tree, she said, This is just what I needed, my, needed for my burrow. So she picked it out and quickly carried it home. But as soon as but at home she saw that she didn't need it all, so she broke all the piece and left the rest. Just then, a bird hopped by. This is exactly what I need for my nest. She, she said, so she picked it up and carried it home. But when she got the nest, she found that she didn't need the whole piece, so she broke off what she needed and dropped the rest from Drop the rest from her nest. Mother was getting outside when she saw a tiny piece of Christmas tree fall to the ground. This is exactly what we needed, she said. She carried the tree inside. The children started decorating at once, and by the time they finished, they had their own perfect little Christmas tree. And at night, my mother took them to see the decorated Christmas tree in the farmhouse. They all agreed that their tiny Christmas tree was just as beautiful as the big one. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.